Hey everybody, it's Schuler 4-2. Let's get right to it. Flynn Cameron of UC Riverside is your reigning player of the week. 6'5 grad student had a week to remember. He was big time in dubs last week over both Long Beach State and UC Santa Barbara while helping break UC Riverside's single season win total record. 22 and a half points per game, five boards per game, five assists per game while shooting 57% from the field. He hit seven threes versus Long Beach State and now has over 100 assists on the season. For his efforts, he was also named the Lou Henson National Player of the Week, which goes to the top mid-major player in all of college basketball. And what's crazy is that his teammate Zion Poland won it back in November. Talk about a duo. Just two weekends left before the Big West Championships in Henderson, and things have changed drastically over the past weekend. Now it's UC Irvine who's in the driver's seat. They control their own destiny and have the best shot at winning the regular season championship, but not without some tough games ahead. Now remember, all games can be found on ESPN+, Plus. a slew of big games on Thursday, and then on Saturday, you can find Cal State Fullerton at CSU Bakersfield at 1 o'clock. That's also locally on Spectrum Sportsnet. And then the big one, UC Irvine at Hawaii can also be seen on ESPN2. The Rainbow Warriors are 12-4 and four at home, and they're hosting the first place Annie both are stingy defensive teams, but UC Irvine's an elite shooting team, 38% as a squad from behind the arc. And what I think is really cool about Hawaii squad this year is they feature three players either from Hawaii or with Hawaii roots. That's Samuda Avea, Kamaka Hepa, and Zor Ned. They're two Polynesian players. They're led by 6'10", 215. Kamaka Hepa is helping around fifth in the Big West and made threes and rebounds and blocks per game. Plays the forward position. He's at shooting nearly 40% from behind the arc and averages about 12.6 and a half boards. Super long defender and is one of the team's prime primary leaders, as well as Samuda Abea, who is 6'6", 200, is another fellow senior. He missed the last couple of seasons, but he stormed back this year, averaging 10 points per game, nearly five boards, and close to 35% from behind the arc. No doubt both these guys could potentially lead the Rainbow Warriors to a Big West title, their first since 2016. All the time I have, that's Shula for two.